Hello everybody, welcome to the next video on GPT-3. I'm beta testing it right now, which is really cool. I'm very happy that OpenAI was so kind to give me access to this uh, amazing model, this great model. So um, before I start uh, be before I start waffling here, let's just get into it. So um, I did update the, the code uh, and it's, up, it's at the same uh, GitHub repository that's on the previous YouTube video and I'll post the link again to this video. So what I've added here is a capacity uh, bar, and this is a progress bar that tells you how much uh, prompt is reducing in size based on what you've what you've already uh, what you've already talked about. Uh, this has to do with the amount of tokens that the a, the uh, GPT-3 can process, which is limited right now to 2,040 tokens. And a token can be thought of as a way to break uh, natural language like text, like uh, text from a magazine or a blog post. Uh, you can break that text down into these uh, separable segments, which we call tokens. Okay, so for example, like the word conversation would be a token. Okay, so I can only have in the whole uh, context of my conversation with GPT-3, I have to uh, use only 2,040 tokens maximum. So what that capacity does right now is I'm developing this chatbot. It just lets me know sort of am I running out of space or not. I will be soon implementing a sliding window to take care of this. So essentially you're never going to run out of space because the maximum output that's possible will always be smaller than what's left. And then uh, as you go on with the conversation, the context window will shift uh, to the right, which means that the older the topic that was mentioned, the less likely that it'll be within the context. Uh, this is uh, what will make it possible to have like a you know 25 or 30 minute conversation, hour long podcast episode conversation uh, without the model running out of, uh, without it running out of space. I think it's quite realistic because in most conversations you don't usually keep context of the entire conversation. It's, it's kind of the last five minutes or 10 minutes and then we sort of move on to new topics and things like that. So I think it's, it's still pretty natural. Aside from that, you have the same personalities as before. I haven't created any new ones. You got the AI police detective defense attorney spy. Um, you've got what the AI says, uh, the temperature, which is a rating, uh, it's a parameter that tells the model how close it should stick to more factual stuff and how creative it should be. Uh, 0 0.7 seems to be pretty good default. Sometimes I crank it up to 0.8 or 0.9 just to get the model to get unstuck. I've also set other parameters. I set a parameter that uh, allows you to say, don't repeat any lines. Uh, so that is important because you don't want the um, bot getting into a sort of a loop, which does which does happen. So we do have to think about how can we how can we resolve that. All right, so uh, you got this talk button. You just click it and say what you'd like to say. So let's give it a test. I'm really glad to be here. What can you tell me about Georgia? Georgia is a state in the United States. How many people live in Georgia? About 9,919,399 people live in Georgia. Where do more people live, in Wisconsin or Georgia? About 5,724,398 people live in Wisconsin and 9,919,399 people live in Georgia. Okay, but where do more of them live? About 5,724,398 people live in Wisconsin and 9,919,399 people live in Georgia. Okay, so as you can see, I try to ask um, for the answer of which state, right? So in which of the states, uh, which of those two states is the state that most people live in? I didn't say tell me the population. So that's kind of interesting that, uh, you know, GPT-3 is unable to get that context, at least from the way I said it. Let's just keep, let's keep going and see what else we can do here. What is the capital city of France? The capital city of France is Paris. What are French people like? French people are kind, generous, and polite. What is the difference between living in Japan and living on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean? J 
Japan is a country, a cruise ship is on the ocean. What is the danger of eating sushi? Sushi is food. Yes, I understand, but is sushi ever dangerous? Sushi is food. What happened two weeks ago? I don't have an answer. This year is the year 2020. A lot of things are going on. Tell me one of the major events. Haiti has a natural disaster. Who is the inventor of IKEA? Ingvar Kamprad is the founder of IKEA. What is the best way to save money at IKEA? IKEA is a place. How do I save money at IKEA? IKEA is a place. Okay, so clearly right now the model is sort of stuck. Uh, let's try a couple things here to get it unstuck. I'm going to try to set the temperature just way up. Let's get it to 1.0. And let's try to ask it something else. What is dangerous about rock climbing? Rock climbing is a school subject. Okay, that doesn't... That doesn't answer my question. Uh, it looks like the context, if I just look over the context, it's very important to make sure that the context is correctly output here. What is dangerous about rock climbing? Rock climbing is a school subject. How do I save money at IKEA? IKEA is a place. Very strange. Wait a minute. I know. So we don't want it to be more creative. We think. I think we want it to be more factual, right? Because I'm asking it sort of fact-based questions with a little bit of leniency here. Let's try that again. What is rock climbing? Rock climbing is a school subject. Okay, so it appears that that's not working at all. I think the temperature gauge might be busted because that's 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 not that shouldn't work that way. Let's try one more question. What is two plus two? I don't have an answer. Okay, so so it, it started kind of. At least it was answering my questions, but now, now, now it's just getting, it's just getting really boring and strange. Um, I'm going to try to switch it up to a police detective. What is the, all this about? Why am I at the police station? I am here to ask you some questions about the murder of Mr. Smith. Now, here's what's really cool is that I actually asked the question or the uh, I asked the question correctly, but the speech to text made a mistake and messed it up a little bit. But GPT-3 still answered the right question. So that's kind of interesting. So maybe that tells us that uh, the speech to text doesn't have to be 100 percent precise because the model will still try to figure out what you meant. All right, so the, the police detective here character says, I'm here to ask you some questions about the murder of Mr. Smith. Okay, great. Okay, uh, what kind of questions do you have? I have some questions about your alibi. Okay, what's your first question? What were you doing on the night of the murder? I don't even know when that was. I see. Are we done? Yes, we are done. Okay, so 
It's funny too because I said like uh, for for the prompt, the detective is very good at discovering truth and being persuasive. The detective will never let a guilty person go free. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. So interesting there. All right, let's let's go ahead to the defense attorney. I have such a huge problem. I've gotten a takedown notice on YouTube. I'm sorry to hear that. AI, what is the takedown notice? So basically they're telling me that I, I have to take some content down from YouTube. What is the content? AI, what is YouTube? The content is a video I made about baking donuts. What is a donut? AI, what is baking? Okay, so uh, baking is the process of cooking food. I mean, you should know all this. I'm sorry. I don't know what you are talking about. All right, so AI, it's... I am not a computer. AI, I am an attorney. Okay, so it seems like in this case what happened was, you know, I've got a character defense attorney. And I'm setting the temperature to zero. That doesn't make any sense, right? So we want the temperature to be really nice and high because this is sort of a creative creative uh, thing we're doing here. Um, it's more about creativity than facts. Okay. All right. Can you help me figure this out? I can't help you. AI, I am not a computer. All right. Finally, spy. What are you doing exactly? Who are you? I am the director of national intelligence. I am the leader of all communist countries. That is amazing. How do you manage your day? I eat cake. Do you eat cake with the frosting on or off? I eat all the frosting. What happens with the rest of the cake? None of your business, you big nose. Okay, listen here, buddy. I am going to be able to get you some cake if you're nice. What will it cost me? You are going to have to tell me the locations of all your secret bases. There is one in the Northeast and one in the Midwest. Can you give me precise coordinates? There are none. So that's what that looks like. Uh, I'm going to keep working on this because I wasn't really happy with the results that the AI gave me, the AI character. Uh, Police Detective was okay at the beginning but then he started he was just too weak he gave up right away so i have to see if there's anything i can do with the prompt to try to make these characters a little bit more resilient i've, I've had that happen where the model sort of tapers out after a very quick amount of time uh, i think it just runs out of things to say so i'm going to take a look at that um the code is available i've updated it it's all on the repo in the link uh thanks again for watching i'm going to keep making more of these because i want to share sort of what's possible with uh, gpt3 and specifically for chat See you next time.